afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for today's webinar. We're very excited to bring you our third installment of CISO's debate with today's topic revolving around on-prem security strategies. My name is Adam and I'll be your moderator. Before we dive in, I have just a few housekeeping items to review. Today's debate is being recorded and will be available for replay within a few hours this afternoon. Once available, an email with the recording will be sent out to you. The console you're looking at is 100% customizable. Feel free to adjust the sizing of the boxes on your screen to your liking. We've uploaded some great complimentary pieces of content for you and the resources for you box. I highly encourage you to download each resource and check them out. And lastly, if you have any technical difficulties during the webinar, please clear your cache and or refresh your browser window. Rob, take it away. All right. Uh, excited to be here for, our, like he's, Adam mentioned, our third installment of the CISO deb debate series. Uh, really, the, the idea behind this is giving us a chance to, to have conversations in a healthy way and get some disagreement out there and, and maybe at the end of it, figure out uh, some answers to some questions that have been bothering us. Um, I really want to uh, be thank, thank, say thank you to Scott and Marnie who are joining us, and I'll, I'll go into um, to a little bio about them in, in just a moment here. Um, myself, I'm Rob Breck. I'm the field CISO for Red Canary. I've uh, been here for just over two years. Um, previously CISO at a couple other organizations. Uh, talk, let's talk a little bit about what we're, what we're discussing today. So we're going to have a debate around um, the, the strategies we use in the cloud and whether the same strategies that work in the in on-premise situations work in the cloud. Do you have to adjust? Can you use what you've been using um, throughout, throughout the rest of your, your time with your program? Uh, I think that this is a thing we've been learning as we go, right? Uh, so we'll get into the, to that as we go. Let's do some quick intros. Um, Scott, Scott Gicking is the uh, is the CISO for Hyundai Auto Ever America. Um, Scott has, has been 30 years in the industry, uh, and obviously for the last couple of years working for Hyundai and, and Genesis and Kia here in North America, but previously a lot of other experience, including at PwC, Scott, thank you so much for joining us here today. Looking forward to um, some some interesting facts about you that we'll share later in the in the debate. Thanks for having me, Rob. Glad to have you, uh, Marnie Wilking. Uh, Marnie uh, is the CISO for Booking.com. What Booking. Wow, is that how it goes? Booking. Yeah. 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 That, yeah. <laughs> so, um, my marketing hasn't gotten all the way into my head yet. It's a thick, it's thick. Uh, no, Marnie for a long time is to to hear she was at the CISO at, at Wayfair and Orion at Healthcare and some other organizations. Um, Marnie, uh, also you serve on the board of directors for Robert Half, which is pretty awesome. Um, appreciate appreciate you joining us today. And like I said, looking forward to, to hearing your perspective. I'm Thanks. excited. Thank you. For sure. So for, in terms of the, the debate, debate format, Scott is taking the pro case. He's going to argue that the same strategies that we use on on-prem work in the cloud. Um, Marnie is going to be debating the con. So uh, Scott's going to get start us off with the pro and make his case for five minutes. And Marnie's going to get two minutes to rebut. Scott's going to make his case, or excuse me, then Marnie will have five minutes to make her case and Scott will get two minutes to, to, to rebut that. And then at that point, we're going to give you guys a chance to vote for the winner and you're going to get to see not only who won the debate today, but also uh, the results of our voting that we did on Twitter and on LinkedIn for the same question to see how, how did things change as you got to hear the debate go. So with that, I think we're, we're ready to get going. Um, Scott, you ready to take it away? You got it. All right. All right, with the uh, increasing adoption of cloud computing, many organizations are transitioning their IT infrastructure and applications to the cloud. The cloud introduces new cybersecurity challenges that require new ways of thinking in the cybersecurity strategy. Now, that being said, I believe an on-premise cybersecurity strategy can be applied to the cloud environment. And in this argument, I will outline an on-premise cybersecurity strategy that can be applied across the, the cloud environment. Please understand the approach explained leverages some of the control categories of the NIST cybersecurity framework of identify, protect, detect, and respond. So under identify, uh, go into access or asset management. So when considering uh, aspects of strategy, the primary consideration understanding in this area, asset management is a shared responsibility model. So when you're talking about cloud environment, it's shared responsibility. It's one of the primary differences between on-premise and cloud, cloud security. Um, in an on-premise environment, the organization is responsible for securing the infrastructure and applications entirely. 
However, in the cloud environment, the cloud service provider is responsible for securing the infrastructure, while the organization is responsible for securing the applications and data stored in the cloud. Therefore, it's essential to understand the shared responsibility model and ensure both the organization and cloud service provider uh, security measures are aligned. Second, protect um, identity and access management. Um, so identity and access management is a critical component of a cybersecurity strategy. In the cloud environment, identity and access management are used to manage user access across cloud resources. The organization can use identity access management to set access controls and permissions for each of the users. Um, ensuring only authorized users can access specific resources. This is no different than an on-premise strategy and an approach towards a zero trust methodology in today's world. Protect, uh, you wanna implement data encryption. So data encryption is a critical aspect of any cybersecurity strategy in the cloud environment is no different. Data encryption must be used to protect the data stored in the cloud, and then data must be protected when it's at rest or in transit. So no different than the on-premise strategy. Uh, four, detection and response. So you want to apply security controls. Many of the security controls in an on-premise environment are still applicable in the cloud. For example, firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems, endpoint detection and response, antivirus, are all still necessary in the cloud environment. These controls can be applied in an organization's virtual environment, which operate similarly to the on-premise network. And finally, the fifth area goes back to identity again in the NIST cybersecurity framework. It relates to governance. And this is especially critical, I think, when you're dealing with the cloud, is you wanna be sure to conduct regular security audits. Regular security audits are necessary to ensure the organization's cybersecurity measures are effective. This is no different in the cloud or on-prem. The organization should regularly uh, conduct security audits of its applications and the data stored in the cloud, and it can help identify vulnerabilities and ensure the organization is complying with regulatory requirements. So in conclusion, you know, an on-premise cybersecurity strategy can be applied to the cloud environment with some understanding of the cloud. By understanding the shared responsibility model in asset management, utilizing effective identity access management, implementing, um, implementing data encryption across the environment and applying security controls and then conducting regular security audits, an organization can effectively manage cyber risk in the cloud environment. It's essential to recognize that the cloud introduces new cybersecurity challenges and additional thought is required in the cybersecurity strategy. Therefore, it's crucial to continue to monitor the cloud environment and adjust security measures accordingly. Thank you. Marnie. All right, Scott, thank you very much. That was awesome. All right, Marnie, you get a chance to rebut here. We're gonna go ahead and give you two minutes. All right, so I would agree at a very high level, the NIST strategy will in fact work. That's why it was created that way, but at a more specific level, the points that Scott brought up, um, I would argue um, encryption is one of those things. Um, and a lot of on-prem environments, companies have done the risk assessment and determined because it's on-prem and because it, the physical environment is controlled, but they don't necessarily need the encryption internally. I would also argue that from an implementation standpoint, being able to implement in the cloud using cloud native tools has become much easier. And in fact, the um, key rotation, which is often the most frustrating and um, most difficult thing to implement when doing encryption has become infinitely easier in the cloud. I'm not saying that it's the easiest thing to do, but it's definitely easier than it used to be. Uh, I would also argue that from an identity and access management standpoint, a lot of on-prem environments tend to be managed from a single plane. If you are cloud, hybrid cloud, multi-cloud, um, you are likely having to do a lot of federation. And so how you think about which identity tools you're using and how you think about the difference between users and entities 
within the environment will have to shift. Um, and finally, from a governance standpoint, um, having gone through a couple audits in the cloud, it's way easier to automate the evidence in the cloud than it is on-prem. All right. Thanks, Marnie. Uh, good rebuttal. Now, now we're going to give hand the floor to you for five minutes, and you can make your case um, for the con here. Okay. Take it away. So, why should your security strategy be different when you're looking at cloud versus on-prem? First, I'm going to make sure we're all on the same page and assuming infrastructure as a service. So, we're talking about AWS, GCP, Azure. So, one, Scott mentioned asset management. I will, uh, I will talk about asset management as well. Asset management is very different in the cloud. I mean, and let's face it, this is hard to begin with, and many of us don't do it that well. But in the cloud, you're rarely going to be tracking physical devices that are running production workloads. You are more likely to be tracking virtual machines and instances, microservices, APIs. If you're taking advantage of the elasticity and scalability of the public cloud, then the number of assets will change periodically maybe really frequently, maybe less frequently, depending on your business model. But that can also change your licensing usage, which is often a piece of your asset management program. You might even need to change your definition of asset to accommodate how you're operating in the cloud. Automation. Cloud has provided us with capabilities that have been on our wish list for a very oh. long time. How do we detect vulnerabilities more quickly? How do we prevent the vulnerabilities from being introduced to begin with? With both cloud native and other cloud forward tools, we can more easily build security and privacy and compliance into the build and deploy pipelines, as well as into the data analytics processes, data retention processes. We're better able to enforce configuration of hosts and services and detect when a configuration has changed. Cloud native tools are more inclined to focus on automation to detect and isolate and even correct, whereas legacy on-premise tools may not be able to provide that same level of real-time automation. So you should change your security strategy and probably your tools to take advantage of the increased automation. Third thing, resilience. Historically, with on-prem data centers, in order to have good resilience for our operations, we often needed to have hot, warm, or cold sites ready to rebuild. With public cloud, we have greater access to more availability zones, more regions, all managed by somebody else. Coupled with the scalability, that can provide an increased ability to continue operations by isolating the effective, affected zone and moving traffic to another area. This also can improve our patching process by, for instance, adopting a blue-green deployment approach, which is a lot easier to do in the public cloud than it is re retrofitting your on-prem systems to do that. Okay. Finally, the innovation around public cloud capabilities has really changed the way our businesses operate and how fast they operate. So if we agree that your security strategy should be aligned with your business strategy, and the business strategy has changed with public cloud adoption and digital transformation, then your security strategy needs to change to keep up with the business. All right, thanks, Marty. All right, Scott, you're gonna have two minutes to rebut. All right, great. Thanks, Marty. So I. You know, it's interesting because in, in one hand, when you talk about assets, you're talking about the in, increased complexity. And then you're talking about in, um, so if we go into the automation, you're saying it's a little bit easier to leverage automation. Um, and then the resilience, um, in a way, it's it's easier to manage. But fundamentally, it seems that you did not really disagree with my approach. And what I'm saying is at a high level, as a CISO, we need to be looking at across the environment, looking at their, the assets, the access, the security controls. Some of them might be more complex, might be more easier in the cloud environment, but fundamentally, we still need to follow that same framework. Thank you. All right. We've, uh, we have finished our debate, so now it's up to the audience. 
it's up to you who won this debate was it was it scott arguing in the pro that that the same strategy works both on-prem and in the cloud or marnie arguing the con so you guys can go ahead and vote here and, and while you do I'll, I'll share some of the 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 random facts I found out about these two. Um, I, I found out earlier today, Scott, that you speak fluent Klingon. Could you could you give us just a, a brief demonstration of some Klingon, please? You know, that might be my cousin. I think he has a, the same name. Uh, oh, man. Are you telling me that my researchers made a mistake here? <laughs> or faulty research. Well, well, let's uh, let's see here. Um, Marnie, I'm sure this one's true. You're actually the world's fastest eater. Uh, how, tell me how you trained for this. How did you become the world? That probably, that, yeah, that's actually true. I, a lot of hot dogs. I was really pressured as a kid. I had so many siblings. I had to eat really fast just to keep up and make sure I could stay, I could get enough yeah. nutrition. So, yeah. I mean, I think from like an evolutionary perspective, like eating fast is, is probably, is probably best, right? So right. Yeah. Uh, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Well, I, I, as we're waiting for the results to come in, um, just a huge thanks to both of you for all of the time to not only do this debate, but also the preparation time. Clearly, you both came in very prepared and uh, appreciated a lot. And, and I know whenever we get to do these, I, I learn a lot through the, through the process. And frankly, I learn how important definitions are, right? Like, what does it mean? What does a strategy mean exactly? And, you know, is a strategy a technology or is a strategy like the way you're going to look at the technology and at what level? Um, before we before we flash over to the actual results from today, we wanted to show the results from our, our online polls. So you can see before we did this, um, we had asked, this one's the LinkedIn poll, uh, did the on-prem strategies also work in the cloud? And we got 56% who said no. And I'd say that this is a pretty close poll, right? 56, 44, um, you know, not not too far off of 50, 50. Uh, what do we have on, on our Twitter one? Uh, and same results, right? So so a lot of, uh, a, a lot of, uh, Folks out on both both platforms, um, a little bit more on the no, not the same strategy, but but not too far off. All right, Adam, what's our who's our winner? Marnie, oh Marnie, you, you got it. The con, not the same strategy. Um, I, re regardless of how those results look, I think that both of you guys made some really good points, and, and Scott, yeah. very clearly, you know, you can accomplish. You, we're looking for the same things, right? Identify, detect, protect, prevent, respond, recover. Whatever, however those things are from NIST, um, you can do them on both platforms. Absolutely. Uh, that you, was Arnold. working with butt too. That was a nice job, Scott. Enjoyed that. Thanks. I appreciate it. You were a formidable yeah. opponent. <laughs> laid out and, and conquered me. <laughs> Let me throw it back over to Adam. I think you had one more slide you're going to take us through, right? Yeah. Just if uh, you get a chance, feel free to visit our website, redcanary.com. If you are interested in MDR, you want to schedule a free free demo, there should be a link on your screen. Um, and then, like I said, just any resources you, you find, feel free to check them out and hope everyone enjoyed the debate. All right. Thank, Thank you, you both. Thank you to all my Thank fans you. out there. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You stack the audience. I like it. I like it. See Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Awesome. Have a great day.